What is moral luck? As Thomas Nagel uses the term in his article titled, Moral Luck, a person is subject to moral luck whenever she is still treated as a candidate for praise or blame even though the action in question depended in some significant way on factors outside of her control. In other words, for Nagel, moral luck occurs when an agent can be correctly treated as an object of moral judgment despite the fact that a significant aspect of what she is assessed for depends on factors beyond her control. As we can see, moral luck is a way of thinking about the relation between luck and moral accountability that recognizes that no one really knows what outcomes will result from their intentions. Nagel identifies four types of moral luck, namely, resultant luck, constitutive luck, circumstantial luck, and causal luck. On resultant luck, Resultant luck is luck in the way things turn out. When decisions are made under uncertainty, we judge the decision makers differently depending on the outcome. For example, imagine that two otherwise conscientious people have forgotten to have their brakes checked recently and experience brake failure, but only one of whom finds a child in the path of his car. If we offer different moral assessments based upon the different outcome of their crashes, then we have a case of resultant moral luck. On constitutive luck. Constitutive luck is luck in who one is, or in the traits and dispositions that one has. Since our genes, caregivers, peers, and other environmental influences all contribute to making us who we are, and since we have no control over these, it seems that who we are is at least largely a matter of luck. Since how we act is partly a function of who we are, the existence of constitutive luck entails that what actions we perform depends on luck, too. On circumstantial luck. Circumstantial luck is luck in the circumstances in which one finds oneself. A morally virtuous person who never faces circumstances that reveal that virtue may not be recognized as such. Similarly, a moral turpitude may never be revealed, depending on the circumstances that offer alternatives to make immoral choices. On causal luck. Causal luck is luck in how one is determined by antecedent circumstances. Nagel points out that the appearance of causal moral luck is essentially the classic problem of free will. The problem of free will to which Nagel refers arises because it seems that our actions, and even the stripped-down acts of the will, are consequences of what is not in our control. If this is so, then neither our actions nor our willings are free. And since freedom is often thought to be necessary for moral responsibility, we cannot be morally responsible even for our willings. Sometimes the problem is thought to arise only if determinism is true, but this is not the case. Even if it turns out that determinism is false, but events are still caused by prior events according to probabilistic laws, the way that one is caused to act by antecedent circumstances would seem to be equally outside of one's control. Indeed, when we act, our actions are thoroughly situated in a context that includes the sort of person that we are, our constitution, the circumstances in which we find ourselves, the events that led up to our actions, and the events that will follow from whatever we do. To the extent that we lack control over any of these aspects of the context and yet are still treated as candidates for praise and blame, we are to that extent subject to moral luck.